Okay. Okay. Huh? You're on. Okay. Hey, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy holidays all the way around. Okay. Hey, so somebody, it's still pretty cold out Christmas morning, and uh, somebody crawled in a tortoise land on her own. Okay. And who is that somebody? It is um, Shy Girl. Okay. Shy Girl, who's getting so big. She's not that shy anymore. It's pretty amazing, right? She is seven plus years old. You know, if you know, if you're watching the channel, you know she has her playlist, Shy Girl vs. the World. And this year, on Christmas, on the holidays, there's a lot to be thankful for. So today, really, it's going to be just a brief. Come on in, Piper. Come on in, Piper. If you guys have been watching the live streams. So first off, it's streaming Sundays. Uh, right here at Tortoise Land, we do it every Sunday at 9 a.m., okay? And uh, it is, uh, as you know, it's it's our the big holiday today for many, many people in the world, and it's a day to give thanks. So I'm here this morning to say thank you to everybody, okay? That's what I'd like to do. So we can start right here with Shy Girl, okay? Shy Girl is the daughter of Max, and Max has an incredible uh, playlist. And I want to say thank you to Max. If you haven't seen any of the playlists about Max, he is really responsible for me uh, creating Tortoise Land. Okay? He really is. Okay? I always had a love for tortoises and turtles and everything since I was a kid. And it wasn't really till that dude came along and I rescued him from a pet store. Oh, no way. Come here. Come on, Rocky. Look who's out, everybody. Right? Take a look. Rocky. Come on, Craig. Craig, you want to come out? Okay, you know, come on, honey. Look at—he's like, yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, so you know, uh, Max is uh, shy. Girl is the daughter of Max. Okay, Max changed my view completely of tortoises, of what I knew would come to understand how human they are, how much like other animals, like dogs, <laughs> that they come out with you, that they have intelligence. They've been around 200 million years, and they're smart as can be. Right? They need to know everything to survive when they're born because mom and dad's not around. Okay? Speaking of mom and dad, this girl has laid two clutches of eggs this year, right? And for a total of 57 incredible eggs. And guess what? Those eggs, the first batch of which are 22, are due to hatch today, any day. Okay? It takes 12 weeks and they're in the incubator and it's been 12 weeks in a day. So stay tuned for that. Okay, and what I want to do is just thank everybody. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching and supporting. Okay, and the evolution of Tortoise Land. There's a lot of you out there. If anybody's on, is there anybody on, Durham? Okay, if you come on, please then let us know who you are. Okay, because uh, we love to hear from you. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, a lot of you have been here with me since the beginning, two years ago when we started. You know, I've been raising tortoises. For 20 years, I only started the YouTube channel a couple years ago. Look at Piper. You come out. Come on. Come on. Come in. Okay. Alrighty. So I want to thank you for supporting. I want to thank you for commenting. The comments mean so much to me. You know, they really do. It might take me a week or two to get to you, but I will absolutely get to you. Alrighty. And I want to thank the support we've gotten through the different ways that we've been asking for help financially. You know, we now are a 501c3 nonprofit. That happened this year, okay, due to the efforts of a lot of people. All righty. And uh, here's some of the people I want to thank. Besides, in addition to all of you incredible people, anyone that comes on, if you hit the subscribe button or not, you know, I'm all about um, the fascinating world of tortoises and turtles, box turtles. You know, we have 38 here. I'm all about adoption, okay? We're all about, you know, adopting tortoises out. Tortoises come, tortoises go, okay, here. We take care of them, we rehabilitate them, and we look for great homes. So how can you reach me? The tortoise guy, Kevin, at gmail.com. Every Sunday morning, usually between 8 and 9, we release a new video. And in those videos, those are longer videos, and we teach things, and we have fun, and they're different from the shorts. So please, if you watch the shorts, please go and check out the videos, the playlists. We have Max got two MRIs. We learn a lot of stuff, okay? We have fun. I want to thank also some of the people this year that trusted me and trusted 
us here at Tortoise Land with their tortoises, okay, and turtles, okay, that they could no longer care for, or or they might have come to us through various means. So I want to thank Charlie. Charlie uh, trusted me. He's had a uh, Nuvi, the desert tortoise, right? And he had the two box turtles, blue and white. Where are they, you might ask? Well, they're all in the pens. You can't see. It's cold out still, everybody, okay? It's cold out. So with the exception of Shy Girl, and I, my mic's not working, so I apologize, right? Uh, with the exception of Shy Girl, is the only one out. Why is she out? Because we think she's going to lay eggs, okay? She's been looking for three weeks. Look at her, okay? All righty. We've given her all kinds of places to lay eggs, including right over there where she is. Come here. We can go over there, too. All righty? All right? Come on. Let's go over there, okay? Let's go over there. We'll show you. But I want to thank Charlie for trusting me with the two box turtles, blue and white, and, and, and Nuvi, the desert tortoise who's a kick and likes to bite everybody. So look, we created this area. There are plenty of areas for tortoises to lay eggs here. Um, some people will say like, hey, you need you need dirt, you need areas. Well, we got dirt. Behind the tortoise land mountain is an area to lay eggs. And we have the box turtles hibernating back there, okay? And under the pens here, right? Over here, under here, we built a big area for the bigger guys to glow lay their eggs, all right? And we have, this is where Shy Girl, oh, look who's in there, everybody. Come here. It's Lumpy. Come on over here. While we're coming here, we might as well say hi to uh, some of our smaller guys. We got Torga, we got Dwarf Bean, we got Alley Drifter, we got our two Greeks uh, babies, or no longer babies, that were born here. That's Jimmy and Janie the Greek. Uh, the smaller box turtles are over here. Okay, yeah, okay, so everybody's waking up, okay, where's baby Sheldon? He's in the house. One of the other thank yous is to baby Sheldon. Why? Thank you for hanging in there, baby Sheldon. Thank you for your tenacity. You've been following baby Sheldon. He came to us a year ago now, you know, and we lost his sister, and, uh, and, and, and we're not losing Sheldon, and he's almost at 100 grams. And so many of you have been following him and supporting him. He's the new mascot of Tortoise Land. So if you turn around here, right, there's the tortoise guy. And that big tortoise, right, that's Max. And Max, like you said, he changed my whole world. He changed my whole view of tortoises, okay? And, and I thank him for this world that we have now, decided to form this nonprofit to help as many tortoises as we can. All right? So I want to also thank Frankie, uh, who put he and his family. So you see that playlist called Shelly, the Abandoned Tortoise, right? That's an incredible story, right? Yes, Piper, you tell him, right? And, uh, and, and Shelly is now on a 30-acre horse ranch. Okay, due to our efforts and, and the, the beautiful uh, decision by Frankie to come and take, take Shelly in, okay? We also got lights okay, huh? We got Lucky Lucy. Come here, guys, what's up? Oh, look at it. Okay, all right. So here's a perfect situation, everybody. Okay, there she goes. This is what Shy Girl does, everybody, okay? Shy Girl, still, even though she's seven years old, she gets into everything, okay? It's what she does. She knows how to open doors, right? She knows how to wait for the garage, okay? She does everything, okay? Oh, yeah, she can't go in there. She's too big now, okay? Okay, so what's that? Oh, this is what we have. We built all these barriers, everybody, okay? Tortoise Land may be a small place, right? But we have made this place really designed well, okay? Designed well. We have 38 Tortoises here. In 2023, we're going to be all about adoptions, okay? All about adoptions because we need to find great homes for so many of these tortoises, all right? A couple more thank yous. We're going to have a video come out early uh, in a couple hours today, a Christmas video with one of my favorite episodes of the tortoise guy that you may have never seen. So I hope you check it out. We had an albino born here three years ago, okay? Big D. And the first video came out last Sunday. If you haven't seen it, it's incredible. And it's a whole incredible story of Big D. So the second video will be coming out this coming week. So look for that. I also want to thank Ken Green, who trusted me 
30 years he's been raising turtles of all kinds. Baby, little baby he found six months ago. He said, I trust no one else in the world but you, Kevin Fu. What come. kind of turtle? He's, he's a box turtle. And he lives with baby Sheldon, who's in the office. Why are they in the office? Because it's too cold, right? Okay, so I bring him out when the sun comes out, which is now. Okay, thank you, Ken Green. Thank you, Elizabeth, for trusting us with Torga. Okay, she kept Torga uh, for three years, and they didn't know how to really properly take care of Torga. And uh, Torga, you know, as a result of that, you know, is um, has... Uh, we're talking about it has metabolic bone disease, right? Has a hard time putting her feet down because she was in a in a tank, you know, a glass tank for the whole three years of her life. So consequently, you know, uh, thank you, Elizabeth, for trusting us because Elizabeth realized, hey, you know, Torga needs a better life. So since she's been here, we load her up with all kinds of great foods and calcium and sunlight, and now she can walk, okay? She can walk up toward us there mountain, okay? That's pretty cool, all right? Rehabilitation is a big part of what we do, right? And so uh, I want to thank a couple other people. Okay, Mike McVeigh and Vince, they took in Lucky, Lucy. Lucky came to us, uh, was a, a rescue from a pet store. Somebody dumped this 90 pound tortoise. Guess what in the news? Lucky Lucy laid five eggs, okay? Five eggs, I got a call from Mike in distress about a week ago. Oh my God, you know, Lucky Lucy's going crazy. Catherine East is online. She says, Merry Christmas to you for me and my three torts, Damara, Queenie, and Mousy. Damara, Queenie, and Mousy. Catherine? Catherine East. Catherine East, hi Catherine East. Hey, it's Kevin, thank you so much for coming on. What kind of tortoises, Catherine? What kind of tortoises do you have, right? You know, we're all about also, you know, the fun videos we do, but also videos where we learn, right? And, and, and adoption's a big part because to spread the word, you know, I also teach New York City school kids, right, on, on Zoom. And it's all about educating the kids. Most kids love tortoises and turtles. And then we can tell them about global warming and the problems with that, right? So, you know, it's a, it's a whole lot of stuff, okay? I also want to thank... You and me, the nonprofit organization that we hooked up with that likes what we do so much that they now have bring it, brought us a volunteer, Dash and Dash and Alex come on Mondays and Tuesdays, okay, and give us six hours um, of their time and help us to get this place together and organized, right? Did Kathleen come back with what kind of tortoise she has? Kathleen has two sulcatas and a Greek tortoise. All righty, okay, we have those here too. Is that, are they big sulcatas? Are they, what, what, you know, how long have you had them? And what's the, what's the, we'd like to hear the 411. about that. And in 2023, we are going to be asking people to, like, like you, Kath, Catherine, Kathleen? Catherine. Catherine, okay, that have tortoises. If you want to send videos in, it's going to be a real cool part where, where you guys can share with us through, the, through this, through the tortoise guy, the kind of tortoises you have. Also, I'm the tortoise guy. I'm not the tortoise expert. So you may have uh, techniques and, and things you do with your tortoises and turtles that keep them healthy and safe and fun, and, and we can share that information, okay? So that's all coming up. I wanna thank Dr. Kath, Dr. Karen Schachterly, and all the uh, staff at Access Vet for taking great care of baby Sheldon and all the tortoises, okay? Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Since we became a nonprofit, they also give us uh, some incredible discounts. All right. Catherine has a four-year-old and two-year-old sakata and then a five-year-old Greek tortoise. She got them this year. All right. Rock on. Rock on. Way to go. So, Catherine, we do adoptions here. So, where, we, where, where do you live, Catherine? I'm just curious. We're here in Los Angeles. I want to thank Billy Joseph and the Army of Love. They do all the music for the show. <clears throat> so, if you watch the videos, like the longer videos, you have the incredible opening, the whistle song. That's got, you know, that, that band came up with that. So Ka last Sunday. Catherine's in La Jolla. La Jolla, all right, right here. California, right on. So Billy Joseph and the Army of Love, thank you for your amazing music. If you guys don't know the music, Billy Joseph and the Army of Love. They're on Spotify, they're on Apple, they're on everything. And they give us and let us use their music and they do custom music like the opening whistle song for Toy Sky. So thank you guys, alrighty. Suzanne, who normally does the camera. 
the camera with me and the mics, you know, on Sundays. She's awesome. She's a neighbor. She also has a community garden, brings all kinds of food, as do other people's Duran, who helps out ce ceaselessly here at Tortoise Land. Wow. Diane next door, my sidekick, who for 20 years has been helping out, okay? Catherine uh, says that the torts have their own bed. Hold on. Their own bed? One sec. Yeah. They have their own bedroom, and we eventually will live on the patio being built for them right now. Awesome, right? It's amazing. Right? Oh, that, that's incredible, right? So you know, too, that, you know, that they are, to me, are just like as smart as any animal, as smart as dogs, you know, my little cottage. Oh, there she comes, right? Okay. Oh, and who's over here? You, we'll say hi to a couple more tortoises here. Hi. Right? And you guys, you, tortoises are very ticklish, too, okay? Only this year did I discover, shy girl, because she's been shy for so long, you know, now that she's not so shy, okay, they have their spine just like we do right here, and if you rub, and you will find out which of your tortoises are ticklish and which are not. Catherine agrees that they're very smart. Smart is the, okay, and it's amazing, right? We got Piper, 200 plus million years, and if I sit down and the big, all the big tortoises, or even the small ones, right? If I sit down out here, which sometimes I like to do with my dog, they come all up to you, okay? So they are not, the whole thing about a prim, primitive reptile and all that, no way. Oh, guess what? So you're gonna keep track of each day now with shy girl's eggs, okay? Because maybe they're gonna hatch any day. We don't know if they will or not, but we're gonna find out, okay? And then there's the other batch in six weeks, right? That's right, and then six weeks from now, we have a whole another batch of 32 eggs, all right? Let's say hi to one more tortoise. There's 38 tortoises here, 12 species. Oh, look who's got, come here. Is this the coolest thing, everybody? Look at it. So Catherine, take, check this out. Let me tell you, we have built, so we're in Los Angeles, we don't have a big piece of land, so we have maximized it. We built this mountain. Why did we build this mountain? Because tortoises love to climb. Tortoises need challenges in life, just like any animal, otherwise they get bored, right? And they, they need to build their, their, their limbs up. And this is, this is Nuvi, everybody. Nuvi's the desert tortoise that I was thanking Charlie. He's had for 35 years, along with Blue and and the two boxers that are hibernating back here. Okay, so this is Newbie. Newbie loves to bite, so I got to keep him separated all the time, right? Okay, and we got here. Who's this one? This is an incredibly rare, um, critically endangered uh, Indian, star. Indian star tortoise. Okay, him and his brother have been here for quite some time. Okay, he's uh, clearly enjoying a piece of romaine with some orchard hay, everybody. Which is what we do here. See the mix? You get the orchard hay with the greens. That gives them the fiber they need. Okay? Right? So stick with us here in Tortoise Land. Tortoise Guy. If you got questions, Kath, Kath, Catherine. 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 I'm sorry. So Catherine, if you want to talk tortoises and if you want to share videos or maybe sometime I come down and visit or you come up and visit, Tortoise Land is uh, up for everybody that wants to come here. How do you reach me? The Tortoise Guy Kevin. Someone else has joined us, but I don't see their name. Okay. Hey, whoever else joined, if you want to leave a comment, let us know who you are and where you're from. That would be great. Okay. And Catherine you know? says. Yeah that she would love to visit. Oh, absolutely. Um, that it's been cold where she is, and so she's keeping them indoors. They live in the tortoise box with the heat lamp. Right on. And she's checking the temperature all the time. I, which is great, right? Because you don't, you know, like, tortoises are, you know, can be very susceptible to get colds and respiratory things. So these guys all have heat pads, just so you all know, okay? Little guys stay in the house, the little ones that are more vulnerable. The rest of them have heat pads. And when the sun comes out, and it gets above like 70 degrees, I bring all the little guys out, and then the rest of them are all going to come out. So this is really cool and genius. This is one of the cool things we came up with. The tortoises, they can go here, they can go there, they can go there, okay? And just for today, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, everybody, okay? You have helped us. Your comments help. We have over 5,000 supporters now, subscribers, which is just incredible, mm -hmm. okay? That's pretty great. We started with me and my grandmother. Uh, not really, but we started with a couple people and you know and we want to just keep people interested and fascinated and help the tortoises and the turtles all around the world because they are going extinct that's the truth of that 
and they need our help, okay? They need our help. So teaching, education, all that stuff. So stick with us, plus a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun here. The shorts, 38 toys, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. All righty, so hey, from on behalf of Piper and Rocky, ha, who doesn't like the live streams, no, and everyone else here at Tortoise Land, thanks for watching, okay? Happy holidays, right? So you just see the X there on, mm -hmm. the, on, the, on the corner? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Thanks, everybody! So you hit that X, it's going to say, you sure you want to stop? And you say...